to all members of the University of Nairobi community, stakeholders, ladies and gentlemen. I take this special moment to thank all staff and the students for their unwavering commitment with online teaching and learning during this difficult period of COVID-19 pandemic. I recognize that all of us have made sacrifices to ensure that we complete our academic calendar on time. I salute you and encourage you to maintain that indomitable spirit of the University of Nairobi. The valuable lesson that we have learned is that e-learning is here to stay. It is the future of higher education. The University of Nairobi will continue to offer diverse programs through blended mode of delivery. Consequently, we are going to continue investing more resources on online platforms and the systems, including asynchronous learning in order to expand access for quality education and accord more and more people the opportunity to achieve their dreams. We recognize the changing needs of our clientele and the stronger belief that investing on online platform is a wise and strategic decision. It will accord us the opportunity to experience diversity by attracting staff and students from all corners of the globe and giving more access for lifelong learning. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate the 2021 Kenya Secondary Certificate Education Exam graduates who recently received their results and are in the process of making important decisions on their future careers. I have listened to some of the best performers in the last year's exam, fielding interviews for various media stations, and I noted with gratitude that many of them have already made their decisions to join the flagship programs at the University of Nairobi. The Kenya University and the College's Central Placement Service will in the next few days facilitate those aiming for government scholarships to make their choices. For those wishing to join the University of Nairobi as self-sponsored students, I am glad to inform you that our roaring admissions are going on currently in various faculties and schools. I would like to ask you to visit our application portal, application.uonbi.ac.ke, and submit your applications. Students who will get a chance to be admitted into the University of Nairobi will commence online registration for their chosen programs with the effect from 23rd August 2021. Upon completion of registration exercise, all freshmen will be expected to report for on-campus learning on 30th August 2021, unless the COVID-19 situation escalates and we are advised otherwise by the Ministry of Health. Ladies and gentlemen, this year, the university has planned to hold two graduation ceremonies, as has been the practice in the past. The first graduation is scheduled to be held on 24th September 2021. The second one in December 2021. I encourage all students who are due to graduate this year to take advantage of the improved learning environment to graduate on schedule. We have simplified our academic processes and removed bottlenecks that hitherto impede students' progression. The Senate recently approved guidelines on how to assist postgraduate students to identify reputable journals to publish their work. We have also eliminated the problem encountered by students preparing bound copies of their thesis or dissertations. A student will only be required to submit a PDF version of their thesis or dissertation to the library. Ladies and gentlemen, the reform agenda that we started last year is still on course. On the curriculum reforms, we have revised the number of programs offerings from 579 to 324. This will allow the university 
to align more of its resources to supporting the delivery of the flagship programs, to consolidate its strengths on the delivery and imparting the skills. On financial reforms, I'm happy to note that we have succeeded in eliminating all cash transactions at the University of Nairobi and transitioned our financial transactions to e-banking. This has enhanced efficiency, accountability, and prudence in the management and utilization of scarce resources. You recall that in, two, in the year 2017-2018, the government introduced what is commonly termed the differentiated unit costs as a mode of funding universities. Differentiated unit costs was developed on the basis of the unit costs of delivering each program. We noted that most programs at the University of Nairobi were started before the determination of the differentiated unit costs, and the methods used, therefore, differ in developing the fees. We have now aligned all our program costs to the approved differentiated unit costs for new students admitted from September 2021. Those already admitted will continue to pay fees as was provided at the time of admission. We are committed to continue improving the quality of learning at the University of Nairobi. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm emboldened by your resilience and the zeal to deliver on our mission through various activities that transform our lives in as a community. To this end, I wish to thank you for executing with excellence a number of events and programs that benefit both our internal and external stakeholders, and they add value to all of us. Just to highlight a few, the university held an inaugural talent competition that was held on 12th of March, 2021, to identify, nurture, and celebrate talents amongst our students and the staff. We celebrated the winners and the all participants. The university's prize presentation award held on 7th May, 2021, where 144 prizes were awarded. I congratulate the overall winners, Mrs. Kimeri Faith Geruto in the 2017-2018 academic year, and Mr. Kumari Saitabau Keunga in the academic year 2018-2019. Appearing on the University of Nairobi list of honors is a great achievement. I urge all the winners who have not collected their prizes to write us with the academic registrar's office immediately. On community service, the university was honored to partner with Equid Bank Group and the Kenya Forest Service to plant 7,000 trees in various campuses on 18th May 2021. As responsible and respected organization, we believe that protection and conservation of the environment is a cardinal duty that we must undertake and continue to undertake. We shall continue to show leadership in environmental causes, including carrying out research in emerging environmental challenges like climate change. Ladies and gentlemen, the university has continued to establish more strategic partnerships and the linkages to provide the needed synergy in meeting our stated mandate. For instance, recently we signed a strategic global partnership with the University of Helsinki Fintrad. It is gratifying to note that we are the only university in Africa that is joined in that high level global partnership. I want also to acknowledge the strong collaborative linkages between the University of Nairobi Washington State University and ELE on USAID funded Feed the Future program that will lead to the establishment of an innovation lab for diagnostics of livestock diseases at the veterinary school. I thank Professors Thobe Mwangi and George Gitao for their leadership in this program that will also contribute to building capacity of future researchers. Finally, I also appreciate the recently established institutional collaboration 
supported by USAID in the Fahari Yajami project under the leadership of Professors Jared Mesha and C.F. Otieno, Dean School of Medicine. I'm glad also to inform you that the University of Nairobi was awarded the Certificate of Recognition for, building, for being the top ranked institution in terms of research output and publication on Elsevier 2015-2019 in Kenya. This is not a mean achievement. The university is better because of the contribution of each one of us. Let us all keep the fire burning. Thank you and God bless you, Bishri.